space nerds, welcome back to another SpaceX Updates video. In this video, let us see what happened at the Starbase yesterday, and NASA buying more Crew Dragon seats. At Starbase yesterday, no static fire test was conducted, although an overpressure alert was handed out to the local residents of Boca Chica Village. Test Tank Booster 7.1 was cryo-tested. The purpose of this kind of test is to gather data by testing limits so that improvements and structural changes can be made to the future design of the Starship. Until we have a fully operational Starship, we will constantly see such a test tank in the future too. We don't have a road closure schedule until Tuesday. Hopefully, we will see more static fire on Booster 7 and S24 next week. On Wednesday, NASA announced that the agency had bought five more Crew Dragon flights for its crew rotation mission to the International Space Station. SpaceX was awarded the contract worth $1.4 billion as part of NASA's commercial crew program. This contract will cover the launch services of NASA's Crew-10 up to Crew-14 missions. Till today, NASA has bought 14 Crew Dragon flights from SpaceX with a valuation of nearly $5 billion. Out of the 14 flights, four have been successfully launched. The next Crew Dragon mission, Crew-5 is set to lift off from Pad 39A on October 5th next month. SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft is the only American spacecraft still in operation that is capable of launching astronauts into space. The cost-effectiveness and reliability of Falcon 9 rockets make the partnership between NASA and SpaceX from good to great. SpaceX has now become a key partner for NASA. Blue Origin scrubbed its new Shepard NS-23 mission yesterday due to bad weather. They will try to launch it this morning at 8.30 a.m. from the West Texas Launch Site 1. This mission will be the first dedicated payload flight mission of the year without humans on board and the fourth overall of the year. It will fly a total of 36 payloads and expose them to a zero-g environment to conduct various experiments. Bill Weber has become the new CEO of Firefly Aerospace. This move comes ahead of the company's second attempt to launch Flight 2 mission to the Black on September 11th. Firefly Aerospace is one of the aerospace companies that is trying to mark a presence in the low Earth orbit. Last year, the company conducted its first ever demonstration flight of the Alpha rocket, but it exploded before reaching orbit. The company has now partnered with Everyday Astronaut to live stream the launch, so be sure to watch it live on September 11th. That is it for now guys, I hope you all have a great Friday and I will come back with more news in the next video.